Now let's take a trip back in time with Backtracks, a look at Chicago's colorful public transit history. A grip car and two trailers made up the typical cable car train that operated in Chicago from 1882 until 1906. Cable cars were developed for the steep hills of San Francisco in 1873, but for several years, Chicago had the largest cable system in America. 71 grip cars ran along 82 miles of track. In many parts of the city, streetcars were in service well before streets and sidewalks were paved. Streetcars like this single truck Chicago City Railways unit operated along 75th Street from Eggleston to Stony Island. Operating the world's largest transit fleet in the 1920s required an extensive roster of equipment to keep the fleet moving. This plow is clearing snow from the cable car tracks. Some plows had side wings and shears to clear snow and break up ice adjacent to the tracks. A safety island kept riders of the Blue Goose streetcar out of harm's way in the middle of Madison Street at Central, as seen in this 1937 photo. 83 Blue Goose cars provided service on the Madison to Fifth Avenue route. This Pullman Standard trolley bus entered service on North Avenue in 1949. It was among the first 210 buses purchased by the CTA. Notice the car passing the bus. It's almost as big as the bus. This is a photo of a Green Hornet streetcar heading north on Western in the mid-1950s. 600 Green Hornet cars were built by the St. Louis Car Company and Pullman to help modernize surface transportation in Chicago after World War II. That's it for this episode of Backtracks. Now, back to the present.